Like, look at the left side. That is so stupid. It looks stupid. like 3D. Yeah, like, it's kind of like a 3D-ish effect. Like, as if you're, you know, you went like, to the Like, I'm not going to be seeing blue and red lines. What, did I take L or ibuprofen? <laughs> you literally, yeah, we're just popping D. Um, someone, someone replaced the, <laughs> replaced this with just L D. <laughs> the problem wasn't the painkiller meta. Limping in this game, I mean, obviously it's realistic. It's 50-50 in the community. I, I see people actually like the change. People aren't on painkillers as often. But again, painkillers were not the problem. The problem was the limping. All right. And whatever, it's realistic. It's also mildly infuriating. It, it gets you killed. I mean, if, if you start limping, if someone sees you first, they shoot you in the leg, you start limping, you are going to die almost every single time. They'd have to be yeah. relatively bad. They'd have to whiff shots. Or you were luckily next to cover when they took out your leg, which is the best case scenario, worst case scenario, which seems to happen most of the time. When you're running from cover to cover, it's right as you're in between both covers. So you can't run back to your last cover and you can't run back to the new cover. And, and obviously, if you break your leg, you should immediately start limping. But just spitballing here, when you get shot in the leg, you have some sort of adrenaline effect where you're not yeah. immediately limping. The problem isn't the isn't just the limping. The problem is that when you're ADSing, it's so bouncy. Like this here. And show it now. So you can't move and shoot. You either, you, you need to make the decision to limp into cover. Like, obviously you should also be trying to hit this shot, even though it's ridiculously difficult. Mm -hmm. But but you have the option to limp into cover or limp into cover while aiming or just stop moving and shoot back, which is usually actually the best option, but nobody wants to do that. Because obviously, why yeah. would why would anyone want, want to want to do that i mean if your opponent is competent they're going to kill you because you're standing still and they've already shot you x amount of times so the limping part is just frustrating the problem isn't the painkillers people being on them 100 percent at that time the problem is is you start limping during your fight it would be better too if you didn't hobble yeah. If you didn't, if your barrel, because then point firing is substantially like useless because your barrel is just going up and down and up and down. See, I get it. Like th this effect makes me look like I'm limping. It does. It, it, it does that correctly. It makes me look like I'm limping. But if I could just move this slowly, I, I think maybe it would be fine. So, so just a little bit faster than this and then making it so I can still be accurate while moving. I, I think yeah. is would be a good thing. Or they could do, and again, these are just ideas we're coming up with off the top of our head. If they, could, if they would just use their critical thinking skills for five seconds, I'm sure they could figure out something even better than this. But adding a stupid effect that makes the game look terrible that you can't edit around. It's this game already by itself with no filters on is desaturated to shit. It, it mm -hmm. looks terrible. Say, say what you want about this game. Unless you put a filter on this game and you work with the in-game filters or you, or, you, or you use your own, this game looks terrible. It's yeah. so desaturated already. And, and their best idea for trying to fix painkiller meta was to make it look even worse and add a, like, a, fringe, a fringe effect around the peripheral. That is... That's like, that's laughably stupid. It's, how does that get approved? It just seems so dumb. And that's kind of what I was getting at by the dragging effect. If you could, you wouldn't limp. If you would drag your foot, it would not bounce your barrel as much. It wouldn't, uh, it, it would just not shake your screen as much. So you can still point fire. Yeah. And yes, you're dragging, you're slower but at least you have a somewhat steady aim. Now, yes, I don't think you should have a perfect aim when your leg's blown out, but... Yeah. See, and another thing with it is, why, when I have a fractured arm and I have a painkiller, why does my gun still shake? But when I have a blacked-out leg and a painkiller, everything's fine. Yeah, that's a good, that's a, that's sort of an inconsistency, although, I don't know, I mean, when you think about it, 
having a black arm, the only thing it does is make your aim worse. And, and I'm sure taking a painkiller makes that ma makes the tremble effect probably better. I just I'd assume it does. No, the tremble effect stays the same, and your endurance, your uh, ergonomics, uh, still is affected horribly. Yeah, yeah, having a zeroed arm and stuff that that will just destroy your ergonomics. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I don't think zeroed mm -hmm. arms are even close to the main problem with with the painkillers though. So, so well, yes, I'm just saying with the, that inconsistency. Yeah, they need to you are listing problems, but like the first thing they need to fix is just just stop. Like painkillers were fine. It, it, that's my that's my point. I mean, I I genuinely yeah. think painkillers were just fine. And the the problem was was the was the limping. I mean, mm -hmm. it's frustrating. You caused a frustration, gave people the solution, and instead of, and and, and then it, you changed the solution instead of fixing the main problem, which was limping. And mm -hmm. again, we thought of these ideas in like five minutes. Another thing they could do is make it so when you get shot, what would happen was you slowly start to lean in. You, you slowly start limping instead of just immediately the second you're shot, you're limping like this. Say, say for example, it takes three seconds until you're at your, so it starts from normal speed to once you get shot in the leg from normal speed to you mm -hmm. are, you are then now at the, at the hobble point. Yeah. That would be nice because because again you, you just being able to get to cover, then you can peek around cover. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, yeah, they'd have to. I mean, I know they hate doing this, but what they'd have to do to stop painkiller meta is make the game more bearable. Just, just <laughs> crazy, right? Yeah, make the game not so torturous. So again, these are these are just simple ideas, I, and again. Take off the dent. Just take off the painkiller effect. It already, it already does. Ibuprofen does minus seventeen hydration. Golden Star Bomb does minus nineteen or so, or nineteen or twenty uh, food, and then gives you some some water. Um, Same with Vaseline. Vaseline, yeah, it does minus six, minus six. I think I'm not. I don't. I don't remember. But this, no, it, does, uh, it does minus twelve now to food. Ah, gotcha. Well, I'm, I'm, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure, but. Okay. I'm pretty sure it does minus 12 to food. But this this desaturated effect, I'm sure this would look better. This would look even worse as well. I'll be able to see what this actually looks like in post-production. I'll be able to see how desaturated this looks. But but I have filters on right now. This actually looks relatively like not yeah, as desaturated. Yeah, because you can see it. It's not, yeah, it's not that bad. But look at this. I mean, just, yeah, because just look at when, that tree. That's absurd. Yeah. I mean, when I do it, though, like my game gets like black and white almost gotcha it it's 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 unbearable i've stopped using them because of it because i feel like if i rush in like pre-med yeah. i'm not gonna see them i'm gonna die either way so the better luck catching them off guard and getting that easy kill than not being able to see and just die and then the the other problem is how much fps the game takes from you when you ads through a scope is it makes playing streets with a scope it, it's not impossible to play streets with no, a scope it's no. not but it is it's just unbearable in, it's yeah it's infuriating it's unbearable it's it is it, it makes it harder to hit your targets it it is better to not have a scope at all like I, I don't know now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe you should just use one of those sites that, that is a scope and also has just that uh, delta point on top yeah. of it. But other than that, I, I or guess. you can use like a specter or a validate with the one X. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing that. Um, yes. Last wipe that's, is the validate really was my, really was my best friend because you can use it as a one X, but you can zoom in and lose 30 FPS and get that head tap when they're standing still. Yeah. Um, and the other thing with the game that has a huge problem is Ram leaks. So every game it leaks your Ram and your game performance will just get lower and lower until it's like at like 40 FPS. 
the that raid and you're like what what's going on so you have to restart your game every like two two games two I, raids well I, I think that system specific and they fixed that glitch they did they did that they already they fixed their memory leak um maybe not entirely but they certainly fixed it for me for like, me on streets for me um it, my frames get better and better very very few raids where it hasn't done that even mm -hmm. this way i played a good amount of streets just because i love the expansion and streets is one of my favorite maps honestly it's just unfortunate that you need a gpus that are like five years newer than this mm -hmm. game's alpha right <laughs> yeah you, yeah that's that's ridiculous i mean i have an rtx 3060 it's a 30 series and it still can't run the game in 100 fps yeah i mean we both have the low end 30 series uh, yeah. but like a, th a 30 a 30, it's a 30 right series yeah <laughs> these That's gpus the are yeah <laughs> you should run like a like 60 fps on like a 1660 super yeah. like what what's going on here yeah so let's let's get back to that second fix that i thought of in in just just spitballing instead of yeah. immediately going to a limp when your leg gets zeroed you start slowly moving to a limp so that whatever cover you were almost certainly running to because if you're any competent player you're running from cover to cover any cover you're running to you could potentially make it um a lot of you know for me at least especially early wipe when i'm shot at i don't see the guy first it's a surprise mm -hmm. it scares the mctitties out of me okay but <laughs> but but the ability to run from cover when, when you're running from cover to cover like you should be tactically being able to make it would save my life it, it would make the game just i don't know better in my opinion it, it would make the game mm -hmm. have a lot more skill to it than just early wipe shooting someone's leg out uh and then and then killing them when they can't move obviously that's that's a strategy that I feel like not that many people are doing for some reason, but it certainly should be. Uh, do, yeah, can you and think of any fixes for this painkiller meta off the top of your head, though? Well, to just bounce off of yours, and it would be more realistic, because a, your adrenaline would be going, and there's loads of stories where it's like, yeah, I was shot, and I still ran because my adrenaline was going. And then right after i just got a headache in my leg you know what i mean mm. it when in that kind of scenario i feel like let's say you get shot you'd one if they're not going to just add a topple over effect because who stands still when they're shot in the chest um at <laughs> least let us have a, at least a three second grace period where like you said you get a black leg but you can sprint for three seconds and then it goes, it tapers off to a limp because then your body's adrenaline wears off and then now you're like, oh, my ankle's gone. Um, so just to add to that, and another thing that could fix it, I mean, like you said before, the, the painkillers already have a lot of defects to them yeah. because I cannot tell you how many times I wasn't paying attention to my water and popped an ibuprofen and then I was dehydrated. Um, yeah. I don't think if, if a painkiller has an effect, I don't think it should be as heavy as it's been in the past. The sharpness was okay. And I get that streamers didn't like it because in the Twitch area, it would make it look grainy. The footage yeah, it's, it's, it's very grainy, but it's not even like, necessarily the painkiller's fault, though. It just hold that the thought. Sharpness. Like, it, it's not even the sharpness's fault entirely. It's it's the greens that that apparently make the game just yeah. look like garbage on YouTube and and and, and Twitch. So so, yeah. so if you're someone who's never played Tarkov before, you probably think this game's graphics are like one of the worst graphics ever just because of how ugly this game looks consistently, regardless yeah. of whatever effect is going on people's streams. It's it's bad. So so I don't know. I don't know how they fix that. No idea, but that's a problem in and of its own. Yeah. But man, my painkillers. I mean, I I think they should get rid of pre-painting. Like, after you 
take like after you take a painkiller, it should have a startup time. So let's say you take it, you have to wait, let's say six, five, six seconds for it to fully kick in. That would be a good little you nerf. Be able to yeah. Pop an ibuprofen, which ibuprofen is not like a narcotic. Obviously. And anyway. But, like, you shouldn't be able to pop, like, an ibuprofen and then go straight into Fortress and then be immune to bullets. Like, that's that's not a thing. I think it should be like, okay, I popped it, I can run in, but I have, let's say, six seconds till it fully kicks in. So if I do get shot, I'm still going to have defects. Maybe instead of the hydro, maybe they should just convert the painkillers, the the few the few painkillers that you'll keep in your pouch that have several uses. Maybe what they should do is make those have effects on your strength level and your endurance level. I think. Yes. I I think that would be, be perfect. That I I think that would help as well to stop people being on painkillers one hundred percent of the time. Be- because adding a adrenaline effect, for example, you get you get shot and you're you're still mobile for however long they decide your your adrenaline lasts. So yeah. so instead of so so even if they added that, people are sh- there's still going to be no reason to not be on a painkiller, especially once they please God, just take any filter effect over. So, so there's going to be no reason to not be on a painkiller. All that you might as well just mm-hmm. be on one all the time. Um, a, a good, a good thing to stop that is like minus 10 strength. For example, that would take away the max strength level from anyone who uses the painkiller, which would sometimes make it so you can't get out of raid. But then what would, uh, what would we do about stems? Because then people would just pop an Aldoblos 2 and a painkiller. Well, I mean, Aldoblos 2's got nerfed out. back down into the ground again. They're they're basically useless this way. But, but obviously, yeah, you pop a painkiller, then you have to pop a stim. The majority of the stims will then eat your food. Like, the, the strength stims, yeah. most of them use a huge chunk. Of, like, the L1, for example, is yeah. a painkiller that gives you strength. That takes away so much of your food. It's absurd. Or melodonins, mm-hmm. they... They take your food and water for the consi- and they last uh, one thousand eight hundred seconds, I think. And the melodonins they they also eat the shit out of your food. So mm-hmm. so what I'm saying was, is painkillers just shouldn't take your food and water because it's so stupid, starving to death in raid. So so stupid. It doesn't really happen much because a lot of the times you'll get lucky and you'll find food. A lot of the times, you'll get very unlucky. You'll kill 27 yeah. scavs, loot every single one of them, and none of them had food, and then you die to starvation, which I don't know if you've ever died to starvation. It's one of the most infuriating things in this game. Mm-hmm. It is certainly. Well, hydration's a little better for some reason. It should be reversed, obviously. Yeah. But anyway, like... it's it's just frustrating dying to starving to death. Yeah, it's 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 horrible. Um and I think they do need to just take their metabolism, like the eating and stuff, and just rework it fully because one, it just makes no sense. Yeah, it doesn't. And yeah. two, it's it seems and I get Nikita wants to make this game very, very, very punishing. Yeah. But I don't think that one of those aspects should be food and water when I'm a a well, apparently, a well-trained athlete and soldier. I, I that, think that you should have to bring water into raid. Yes, I do, I do think so. I, I think that is. Yeah, it's like obviously, your I mean, your mouth might get dry. You have less endurance when, when you're thirsty. Obviously, that's yes. a thing. Yes. But the fact that you can starve to death and this game moves four times or eight times faster than real life. I think it's it's in between that or or it's eight times. It's, Speaking of endurance, yeah. I think it shouldn't kill you. I think it should. Energy should tick down your levels on strength and your levels on endurance. Oh, I yeah. think that's what it should do. Yeah, I don't think it should of, kill you. Instead of because actually of, being able to starve to death, just tick down yes. your abilities throughout the raid. Like uh, Yeah, because, you know, you can survive days on end without food. Yeah. You'll be worn out and have no energy. But you'll be alive. It would, it would be a cool little thing if they made food harder to get, but also if they made it so you had to you you had to actually eat 
um, and keep your, your character healthy or else the skills that you have would all start slowly going bad. Like your strength score, for mm -hmm. example, would be the first one to go because obviously you're not eating. So you're losing muscle mass. Um, and then like, like for example, just something like that, instead of having to eat constantly all the time, just make it so whenever you're in rage, you or or whenever you're just on and in the stash you're slowly taking down food and then maybe every like five in real life hours you you're like oh man i'm really low on food i need to eat but they make food actually kind of hard to get that would be that would be i don't know for some mm -hmm. reason that just sounds better than what they have wh yeah. where food's everywhere but you still have to eat all the time just constantly non-stop or you die <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so dumb it, it's so dumb. yeah but these are just because... ideas we're thinking off the top of our head like yeah think... this is <laughs> like they don't have like a boardroom where they just brainstorm fixes <laughs> like just like this i mean I, it, don't don't now. get me wrong this last patch has an absurd amount of quality of life changes that, that everyone mm -hmm. loves of course but but some of the main problems of the game like like food and water should have been addressed um in, in my Years opinion ago. instead of adding the ability to select what limbs you want to heal and, and maybe they could have just put time into reworking the metabolism like the food and water kind of thing maybe maybe water's fine i am thinking about how water works in this game and how fast time is technically moving in this game and once you hit health level 30 because if you don't know health or something it's, it's health or something that that actually makes it so you consume your your water and food um it, it, it's the thing that is the multiplier for that um so, but but once you hit like level 30 on that it's actually pretty realistic how often you have to drink the problem is is that food and water goes down of course you get hungry so yeah you'll mm -hmm. get hungry three times a day technically M maybe they should make it so you have to eat you know at least two times be uh, before you have a little bit of endurance problems but i don't know if these again these are just these are solutions that two dumbasses over Discord <laughs> are thinking of <laughs> off the yeah. top of our heads. They, if they just sat down for an hour and and, and thought about painkillers again, you have to you have to credit them for the amount of quality of life changes they put into this patch, though, because it's nice. The quality of life changes are really. Mm -hmm. um, now I do have a question for you. Yeah. Now. I've I've had a conversation with a couple other friends about this. About this is a different subject ish. So about Tarkov. Do you love Tarkov or do you love the extraction shooter and how in depth it is into it? So because people say yeah. they love Tarkov, but Tarkov right now has no competition. And yes, you can say the cycle and all that. But the thing that game developers right now, like the AAA ones, are getting wrong, like DMZ and whatever Battlefield tried to do. They, I don't even know what they tried to do. <laughs> they they focus too much on the extraction portion of it. When an extraction extraction shooter is more of an economy game. So yes, you go into a raid, you have one life, and you extract safely. But really what it is, is about picking up loot, getting, having that loot have a value, leaving, and then selling it to get better gear and level up. Yeah. And the thing yeah. about DMZ is it's already giving you all the loot the first day you play the game. You can use your own loadout, you oh, can yeah. use whatever attachments you want. It, it's just yeah, based I, I didn't want to play extraction. Yeah, that's And dumb. it's not... So do you think if, let's say, a game came out just like Tarkov, but had had done it better, do you think Tarkov would be a dead game, or do you think Tarkov in itself is enjoyable? I, so genuinely, my take on Tarkov is no one could have done it better. Um, I, you know, say what you want about the game developers, but for the, I, I don't see a better extraction ever coming out, uh, extraction shooter, uh, looter shooter, PV, PVE, 
I don't see any, anything competing with Tarkov anytime soon. One of those reasons being just the guns are just so in depth. You know, mm-hmm. there are so many, we- you know, even the little things, there are so many weapon animations in this game. Th- I just recently, I, my gun jammed and I saw an animation play that I, that I'm, unless it was new to this wipe, I'm certain it wasn't. I saw an animation play for that weapons gun jam that I had never seen before. That happens to me consistently. I will be, I will mm-hmm. be proficient with a gun and then I will see a gun jam animation that I have never seen before. Um, j- just the, the realism of weapon customization. The fact that you can go build an M4 in this game and then, purchase the time of a gunsmith to make that exact same weapon and it's functional in real life that with all the real parts that are actually branded correctly i'm not they buy the licenses so they can use these parts in the game or at least i think they do maybe it's maybe they're doing illegally i don't know i i assume they buy the licenses um i'm pretty sure copyright's different in russia maybe I'm so, not sure, but, but regardless, it's just is, nice that it's all real mm-hmm. guns. Even, I don't know if you know this, even the backpacks are real. Like you, yeah. you look up these backpacks. These are real backpacks. Look mm-hmm. up the armor. This is real armor. Um, I'm not sure if the backpacks and the, and the armors, I know that most of the backpacks names are actually the same. And I know the, I, I'm not sure if the armor is the same though. Um, as yeah, the, like real the USAC life armor, like the trooper, I'm pretty sure it has a different name. It ah. has a little bit of a different design. Ah, gotcha. Okay. But, yeah, well, I'm not sure about the armors. But, but that's but... like a rarity. 